Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of September 18th through the 24th for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. You might be watching all of those to get a bigger picture, uh, more information on what the week is bringing in for you. I am beginning with the Sacred Destiny Oracle to get the underlying theme for the week, and then I will lay down the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And in closing, I'm going to pull from the Fairies Oracle, and I'm going to pull a rune. Uh, these are general, so take them as they resonate. Um, we're going to see what Spirit has, please, for September 18th through 24th. What is the underlying theme for this week? If you like the message, um, you like this reading, hit that like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment, say hello. Um, you can also hit that subscribe button or that notification bell. What do we have, please, Spirit, for Gemini for the week of September 18th? All right, here we go. Pleasure. Mm, a week of pleasure. Nice. Oh, looks like some good energy there. You're going to have a good week, <laughs> a fun week, maybe. Um, maybe you're going on a trip or something. Let's um, look it up and see what the book says about pleasure. Here we go. Savor your life, each and every part of it. Take pleasure in slowing down and experience, experiencing each of your senses. Taste your food with full gusto. Inhale the sense of the world around you. Enjoy the colors and textures of your life. This is truly a stop and smell the roses card. Embrace your sensuality. Move in a languid way. Let pleasure be your password into every intimate part of your life. Allow your life to be less about being productive and more about enjoying each moment with verb. And a radiant energy will flow through you in all directions of your life. Hmm. So take pleasure, even the smallest things. Uh, take pleasure in them. Enjoy the world, all it has to offer. Enjoy those blessings. What do we have, please, for Sunday? For Gemini, please, what's the energy for Sunday? The Ace of Swords on Sunday. Ah, new beginning, clarity, idea, inspiration. This is something to act on. Whatever it is, whatever uh, wisdom's coming in, insights coming in, this is something to act on. Is my camera shaking? Sorry about that. I'm kind of, we're in the process of moving, so... I have a different setup than where I usually do it. It's a little bit wobbly. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's see what we have, please. For Monday now, we have the inspiration on Sunday that we need to take inspired action on. The idea, the thought, the clarity coming in. What do we have for Monday? The devil on Monday. What holds you back? Don't let... Uh, Past issues, programming, um, conditioning through society, through family, whatever. However you've been conditioned in the past, those thoughts, those patterns that don't serve you, those patterns that are less, maybe less than desirable. They're things that get in the way of your success. Um, don't allow that. Release those. Move forward. Move past those. Release those and transform that energy. Take courage. Have the courage to move forward out of those things that hold you back. What do we have on Tuesday, please? Okay. Jumping out at us, we have the temperance card. About keeping that balance, balancing your energies, um, your circumstances, weighing things in the balance, keeping your life balanced, being patient. You are taking action, moving forward, releasing what needs to be released, 
Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your circumstances. The change will come. It will happen. You will reach the goal. Don't be impatient. Trust. Things are happening. Things are uh, moving along in your favor. What do we have on Wednesday? The High Priestess. Tap into that higher knowledge, wisdom, intuition. Um, listen to that inner guidance. Pay attention to what your inner guidance is telling you, what your higher self, what spirit is um, revealing to you. Pay attention to that. I see lower chakras here. I see the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra. Um, the tiger's eye is a good um, crystal to carry around to support those energies. Uh, it is grounding and empowering. And also listening to that intuition is um, crucial here on Wednesday. Listen to that intuition, that inner guidance. Then on Thursday, what do we have, please? The Princess of Wands. The opportunity to follow your passions, desires, this new opportunity to move forward in what you love. Watch for that opportunity. Friday, the Two of Wands. <laughs> Choose from the heart. Yes. Listen to that inner guidance, that heart guidance. Make your decisions based on that inner guidance. That heartfelt, that heart tug, the tug on your heart, it will lead you in the right direction. Saturday, strength. You have the inner resiliency, the inner strength uh, to manifest the dream, the goal, whatever this is, whatever you're putting into action. Whatever opportunity is coming in. Again, there's a lot of lower chakra. I really recommend the uh, Tiger's Eye Crystal. Um, this too is self-empowerment, um, courage, strength on Saturday. Let's, let's, pull a, let's pull a closing card and see what we have in closing for you, please. What do we have in closing? For Gemini, please, Spirit. What do we have in closing? transformation this fairy tells you to surrender to this transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good embrace the transformation the best is yet to come perhaps this idea this inspiration what's coming in here on, on sunday is the realization of what you need to transform what needs to be released where you need to turn it around to transform and move forward. All very good for this week. It's forward movement in the right direction. Stepping into um, that transformative energy. Stepping into that strength, that desire, your heart's desire. Um, your intuition leading you, guiding you into that success. Moving forward. See what I have in closing for a room. All right. We have answers. Okay. As you go through your week, um, look for the signs, the signals, the synchronicities from spirit, that higher wisdom, that in listen to that intuition, that guidance that's coming in for you. Be open to that communication from spirit. Watch for it. Pay attention to it. This is what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Have a blessed week.